Hii ito asei na vizulu za kuntu wa tepe in Johannesburg. Sure. And then uh, I said, no. I think in Johannesburg says, yes, is that red in that one way? Now, in Johannesburg, I don't think that anything happened. But uh, when I was looking at the news, I could see now that certain shops were closed down. And people were interviewed there and they were saying we are ready to pay the people attacking us to defend ourselves. Mm. That's what I saw that I have so seen in the, in the media. Mm. Uh, when I came here from the meeting, because we, the meeting was still late, I, I came by here and I was checking here and I saw there was. The electricity was not in yesterday night. Yeah. Around about six, seven, something. Then I went through, and then when I arrived at home, I was phoned that people are threatening to to attack the, the foreign nationals. Then I started now to phone the station. Then I was talking to Captain Simus about this. And then she said, no, she, she, she received also those threats to say now the people, there are people that go in about to say now they, they will be attacked there in the fourth mm -hmm. Now I started to say now you must organize maybe the, the manpower so that now should that be materialized of people being attacked, then you must in one or the other try to assist other people. Now, from that point, nothing further I had till now this morning when I came here to say there has been a number of people that ran away from, from their shacks that side. In the cast or in all Mar three? In, in, Mar Mar in Marathon, yes. Now, I, I didn't get all those people. They were saying there's just quite a number of people. But I, I met the three ladies this morning and I talked to them to say, well, what is happening now? They, they said to me, they were young, young stars that came to them and said, hey, you will protect. And then when they said they will protect, and then they started now to, to run away. No, they were like yeah, they, the very same uh, young people. They started now to, to, to get into the houses of the people that fled now their shacks and start to steal. Now that has been even confirmed by the leaders to say that the people fled now the, the, as a result of these threats. Mm -hmm. They fled their, their shacks and their shops and then they, they got into these shops and they started to, to, to break in and they steal some fridges and some groceries. That is why now I've just said now I need the detectives to come and protest so that I will just send them out so that now they will just go and uh, get now this stuff that's been stolen from different uh, places. That's what I've just got now. But now I'm, I'm getting worried now to say, I'm getting information from the, the members that are just there already to say they, they've got the information to say there are five people that has been assaulted. That are in the hospital as we are talking to you. Is this in Marathon? Or yeah. in it is, it is in Macau, so it's where it's now. In Marathon. Yeah. Now, I will be sending the, the detectives to go to the hospital because they are saying they are in the hospital now. So as to open up the cases, should those people uh, want to open the cases as, 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 as victims of this. At the present moment, what I'm having in mind now is, is that these are purely in one of the other uh, young people aiming at threatening the people. When they flee, then they start now to look at their, their houses. I, I wouldn't be saying it's xenophobic per se, but now they've got now their own way. They're hiding behind xenophobic to say they are actually targeting now these people because they have got businesses there. 